So guess what? You're a famous actor who stars in exciting action and adventure comedies. You have millions of dollars and millions of fans. It's cool, but you want something more. You want serious roles and acting awards. That's why you decide to play a character who has lost all of their teeth. And to better prepare for the part, you choose to remove all of your own. Day 1 You're standing across the street opposite a dental clinic. You have doubts. Do you actually need to do this? How will your life change? What will people say? But you've made up your mind. You go to the clinic, sit in a chair, the dentist gives you anesthesia, and you fall asleep. You hear the dentist's voice. She asks how you feel. You want to answer, not bad, but say, Ugh. Consonants are very difficult to pronounce, and you are still groggy from the anesthesia. The dentist informs you that the operation was a success and gives you a mirror. You're afraid to look, but you do. In the reflection, you see a mouth without teeth. You walk down the street wearing dark glasses, a medical mask, and a hood so people don't recognize you. You go to the store to buy milk. The cashier asks you a question, but you can't answer clearly. Teeth affect airflow during speech. Also, the tongue must be in contact with teeth to pronounce some words firmly and clearly. The cashier doesn't understand what you said, so you take out your phone and type it. You use this method of communication for the next few days. Day 3 Life without teeth is complicated. You don't hang out with people, don't give interviews, don't show up at a party because you can't speak audibly. The press reports that you're working hard to prepare for the role of a toothless man. But no one knows that you have removed all your teeth. Filming starts in three days. You're learning the script and have hired a speech therapist to teach you to pronounce words as clearly as possible. A nutritionist also helps you. She provides a healthy diet which includes mostly smoothies. You go to bed earlier than you're used to and feel like you've forgotten something. You smile a toothless smile. This is one of the main advantages of having no teeth. You don't have to clean them anymore. You can forget about your toothbrush and dental floss and toothpaste. You clench your jaw and feel the soft friction of your gums against each other. It reminds you of when you were young and you lost your baby teeth. In the morning, you need to spend less time in the bathroom, which means you can sleep in a little longer. Day 7 You have impressed the film director with your deed. The shooting crew admires you, but you still feel unsure. You try to communicate less with people. Despite the practice with the speech therapist, you're still difficult to understand. So the director decides to record someone else's voice and insert it over your lines. After shooting, you go to the supermarket. You stop near the shelves you've always passed before. Without teeth, you don't need to worry about cavities. You add chocolate bars, candy, marmalade, 10 types of ice cream, milkshakes, and even fancy cocktails to the cart. A kid looks at you with envy. You give him a toothless smile. You put all of the sweets in a large mixer at home and make a huge chocolate cocktail. You spend the whole evening drinking it and eating ice cream. For the first time in a long time, you're happy. Day 12 The movie is in full swing. You're in a great mood, and you're shooting the most crucial scene. Suddenly, your stomach rumbles, interrupting your line. Your body is tired of the smoothie diet. Your stomach is struggling to get vitamins and has digestive issues. You need to eat something less liquid. Day 13 You arrive at the dental clinic again. They take a picture of your jaw and make a prosthesis. prosthesis. Um, they make you some dentures. This should help you chew food and communicate. Indeed, the dentures work. You speak clearly, and people finally understand you. The first thing you do is go to a restaurant and order a juicy burger. You take a bite and realize you have different food problems now. Yeah, the dentures help chew, but they put pressure on your gums. Besides, food particles fall behind and underneath the dentures and irritate your entire mouth. The dentures don't weigh much, but it's enough to make your mouth feel tight. And the worst thing is, you can't taste the food as before. Your palate also has taste buds, but now it's blocked by the dentures. 
So you decide to eat regular food, but don't chew it all the way through. At night, you put your dentures in a small glass of liquid to keep them clean. Day 16. After the weekend, you start reshooting that vital scene again. You rehearse, stand in front of the camera, and your stomach still rumbles. Yeah, you're eating typical food now, but it falls into your stomach in larger chunks, which is hard on your digestion. Also, you're often tired and have lost weight. Your body is losing energy every day, and your immune system is weakened. But you have a solution. You take everyday food and grind it in a blender. Burgers, vegetables, steaks, muffins, and puddings are all served in liquid form. Yeah, this is disgusting, but you're willing to endure it for your art. Day 24 Liquid burgers have helped you regain your usual weight. Almost all your scenes have been filmed, and you begin to dream of everything being over. Day 30 A month without teeth. Today was the last day of filming. The director and the entire crew thank you for your work. You run to the clinic to start to restore your teeth. Dennis will insert expensive implants that will be stronger and better than your previous teeth. You sit in the chair, ready for the operation. Your phone rings. It's the director. He says there was a fire in the editing room and all the video files were lost. You will have to reshoot the movie. You run to the studio in anger. You can't believe all your work is gone. You don't want to live without your teeth anymore. The director suggests just using CGI to remove your teeth digitally. That way, you could still have your implants. You need to think about it at home. In your kitchen, you throw a slice of pizza in the blender, have dinner, and decide not to restore your teeth just yet. Visual effects aren't the same as an actor who shows the truth. Mm -hmm. Day 35. Filming starts again. You work hard, and your scenes are even better than before. Day 70. Your work is finally over. Everything went well, and the movie promises to be amazing. You return to your trailer, wash your face, and make one final burger cocktail. Day 71. You start the operation. It takes two weeks for the dentist to fully restore your teeth. Finally, you look in the mirror and smile with 32 teeth. You take a big bite of an apple. Oh, it's so good. All day long, you eat your regular food. In the morning, your jaw muscles hurt like they've worked out in a gym. Six months later, your movie releases. The audience and movie critics are super impressed. The movie brings in tons of awards, including one for your performance. You prove to the whole world that you are a real actor. You're so proud of yourself and think back on how hard you work for this role. You have no regrets and are glad everything ended well. You fall asleep with a smile on your face. Soon, your telephone rings. It's the director. He says the movie studio and producers have greenlit the sequel and want you to return to the role. You tell them not to be hasty and that you'll chew on it for a while.